Today I want to show you one of the most delicious and absolute easiest warm feta dip recipes. Literally there's nothing to this, just a matter of throwing everything into a food processor, baking it off, and Bobby's your uncle. So first things first, to start us off as usual, we're going to preheat our oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going. Now, in terms of the ingredients for this thing, super, super simple. I'm going to do one 250 gram pack of cream cheese. I'm going to go in this. I'm going to take two cups of feta and you can just kind of break it off like that. The next thing is just adding the remainder of the ingredients. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of dried Greek oregano. We'll go in this. Little pepper. Can't have anything without pepper. There is no salt in this recipe because there's already enough salt in the feta. I'm going to do a teaspoon of dried rosemary. We'll go in there. Rosemary and feta do really well together. And a little heat. This is completely optional, but you want to put some red chili flakes if you like a little bit, you know, on the spicy side, a little kick. It shouldn't feel like your ass burst into flames. That's not what we want. I'm going to take a little green onion, just get rid of the ratty parts, and cut away the roots here just like that. Throw this in there as well. And lastly, I'm going to do anywhere from about two to three, four tablespoons of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. It's going to be like the lube that's going to put everything together in this. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. So, leave that there. Throw this in there and just whiz it up. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so damn good. Now, very simply, just take your plate or your baking dish. Let's throw that on the side here and dump this into your baking dish. There's nothing else to this. Oh, and look at this consistency, and everything is going to get all melted and gooey and bubbly and absolutely delicious. And just take this and spread this into a nice even layer. I'm using like an 8x8 uh, little baking pan, ceramic baking pan. You can use whatever it is you like. You can use something a little wider. If you do, just so you know, it won't come out as actually as thick as this. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 400 degrees for about 25 to 35 minutes and we're going to be good to go. So pretty much we're ready to go. Let me just yank this out of the oven here. Yowza. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Hot as sin, but so, so perfect. It's got a little brown charring on the top. So the next thing is, not only do I want this to taste fantastic, I want to kind of zhuzh it up, kind of decorate it up a little bit, throw some lipstick on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a roasted red pepper real quick and I'm just going to add a little kind of creativity to this. And cre creativity, I mean, I'm going to take a couple of these thin strips, just like that. They're maybe a quarter inch thick. And I'm going to place them like this, diagonally, on top of my feta. Just like that. Take this here. Actually, I'm going to cut one more. I'm going to 
cut this in half. So put this like that there. And then this one, where is it? Ah, that'll work. And this one will go here, just like that. That's one thing. Then I'm going to take some of my Kalamata olives. I'm going to put one in the middle. And then I'm going to take some and I'm just going to put it horizontally or flat-wise with pointing out throughout. I'm trying to pick their same color and the same size, just like that. And this one here. Perfect. So that's my dip here. This is my warm feta dip. Actually, right now it's hot. But it is super easy, crazy delicious, and frankly, not that hard to look at either. It's perfect for parties, for snacks, appetizers, um, low carb as well. So it is healthy. So that's it for my episode on my warm feta dip. Nothing to it, totally uncomplicated. Gorgeous, gorgeous flavor, I cannot tell you. I'm going to wait for this to set up a little bit before I dig in. But like I said, you can serve this with crackers, with uh, veggies, with pita, whatever you like. Or if you're like me, like a huge spoon, just, you know. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. For this recipe and so many others, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, please take care, stay safe, and I will definitely see you on the next one. Much love. Bye for now.